because Department of Justice policies will not allow prosecution of a sitting president, the United States House of Representatives is the only institution of the federal government that can now hold President Trump accountable for these actions. To do so, the House must have access to all the relevant facts and consider whether to exercise its full Article I powers, including a constitutional duty power of the utmost gravity, recommendation of articles of impeachment. We take that responsibility seriously. No one can be above the law, not even President Trump. We will continue to seek testimony from key fact witnesses. As many of you know, the committee has authorized several additional subpoenas. Our work will continue into the August recess, and we will use those subpoenas if we must. We are examining and investigating uh, the various uh, malfeasances and uh, crimes and so forth of the, of the president. Um, we will reach, we are going into court and asking for more information and for, to enforce our subpoenas. We are telling the court that we are doing this uh, not just as part of normal oversight, but also because as part of our Article I uh, authority and, and responsibility uh, to consider all remedies, including possibility of articles of impeachment, and that's what we're going to do. Now, whether you call that an inquiry or whatever you want to call that, that's what we've been doing and we are doing and will continue to do.